Hello, today we're going to take a few minutes to share some important information about the 2017-18 school year. The instructional calendar is going to be a little different from the calendars we've had in the past. I'll explain why in a moment, but first let me give you a little background on the process that was used to create the district calendar. In September, the school board approved a resolution to explore the opportunity for Friendswood to become a District of Innovation, or DOI. The board appointed a DOI committee, which is a large group of representatives from across the district, including teachers, administrators, and parents, as well as business and community members. One of the first tasks the DOI committee considered was the 2017-18 instructional calendar. They started by listening to the needs of the parents, teachers, and community members, knowing that a DOI designation lifted the uniform date requirement that prevented school districts from beginning school before the fourth Monday in August. The only legal requirement the committee faced was that an instructional calendar must include at least 75,600 school minutes a year. Based on feedback from the committee members, drafts were prepared that addressed all concerns and met the annual minute requirements. In the spirit of innovation, a new approach was taken in developing a draft of the instructional calendar. The why behind the decision focused on maximizing instructional time between the first day of school and the end of year assessments, embedding more professional learning time for staff during the year, maintaining our current holiday structure, and including additional three-day weekends for family time and student rest, ending the first semester prior to Christmas break, and ending the school year by June. The committee feels the calendar they developed reflects a greater focus on instruction and also meets the diverse needs of our stakeholders. So let's unpack this new draft version of the instructional calendar. First, we'll be starting school on a Wednesday. Both parents and teachers ask that we start midweek. This allows students to acclimate back to school in a shorter week. Next, you'll notice there are nine professional development days that are embedded within the school year. This is six additional days that students will have a long weekend and staff will be able to plan just-in-time instruction that meets the individual needs to students in their classes. This supports the FISD parent survey indicating that recruiting and retaining highly qualified teachers are a number one priority. On these six additional days, students will be off from school the entire school day and teachers spend a half a day planning and preparing and then will be off for half a day. This will give teachers the opportunity to take care of personal appointments and needs during the afternoons of these six days. These days are purposely spread out through the school year and two of them were placed on days before holidays where we had previously seen high student absenteeism. The last day of school will be May 31st, which meets the desired outcome of ending school before June. Also included in the calendar are two early release days each semester for secondary students who are taking exams and an early release day for elementary and intermediate students before winter break and on the last day of school. So to recap, here are the benefits of an innovative calendar approach. The calendar has instruction as the focal point. We regain instructional time that would be lost on the traditional calendar requiring the uniform start date. Teachers have embedded time to plan and prepare instruction for their current classes. Each month has at least one three-day weekend or holiday break to provide additional mental breaks. And increased attendance when school's in session. Finally, we'll be able to end school prior to June 1st. We hope that you are as excited about this innovative approach to a balanced instructional calendar as we are. The final approval of the proposed calendar will be by the FISD School Board on February 13th. We know the details can be a little confusing, and this video is only a one-way conversation. If you have questions, please reach out to us. Click on the Contact Us link at the bottom of the FISD website, and then choose School Calendar as the department you'd like to submit your questions. Thank you for listening to the video today, and we hope it answered your questions, and you look forward to an innovative calendar for the 2017-18 school year.